I'm Glenn W. Worthington, and I want to thank you for joining me here for this special edition of our Genuine Diamonds in Arkansas YouTube channel. I would tell you that we're here at the Crater of Diamonds State Park, but you probably got that figured out. No, actually, uh, I figured it'd be crowded at the Crater of Diamonds, so we're, we made, had this sign made and set it up in Tonganoxie, Kansas. <laughs> No, we didn't do that either. The, there's not going to be an eclipse in Tonganoxie today, but there is at the Crater of Diamond State Park. So we actually did come here. And uh, I thought it was going to be real crowded. There's really no traffic on 301. No traffic going in and out. This is the entrance to Crater of Diamond State Park. Uh, I think everybody's at their spot where the eclipse is going to be, where they're going to experience it, because it's already begun. Uh, Partial eclipse is now two minutes till one o'clock. So we're having a partial eclipse. And I know the main thing everybody wanted to know about today is the weather. And there goes a van and a car all at the same time. And of course it's a noisy one. But um, we were a little concerned a week ago they were showing heavy cloud cover and actually it's pretty thin uh, cloud cover when my wife and i drove over here we live about an hour away near hollywood arkadelphia and um, as we were driving over between 8 30 and 9 30 this morning the skies were clear i thought oh this is great it's sunny and bright and and no clouds it's like better than you could have hoped for because they talked about in texas is going to be pretty cloudy and up at Carbondale, Illinois, pretty clear, but in between, a little iffy. And we do have some clouds, it's called mostly sunny, is how they describe it. But tonight, we're gonna have a 100% chance of rain. Uh, and we're, we're talking uh, tomorrow, and tomorrow night, and the next day, and the next night, over five inches of rain. So that's, that's a lot of rain. If you can't be here at the crater for this special eclipse event, and they did limit the number of tickets they would sell, I believe to 1,900. I'm pretty sure they sold out because I think they had more than 1,900 uh, yesterday and the day before. So it was a, a long eclipse weekend. I've got some interesting facts I want to share with you about an eclipse. You know what it is and and everything. And I want to show you my eclipse glasses. So wow. See, and the, the way to know whether they are good or not is when you put them on during the day, if everything's totally black, they're the right kind. So we got the right kind, and uh, an, eclipse, an eclipse occurs every 18 months somewhere in the world. So you think, well, no big deal. Well, 71% of the Earth is covered with water. So a lot of the times the eclipse happens just out in the water i mean 71 percent of the time in fact right now the uh, there's a total solar eclipse in the pacific ocean off the coast of ecuador but it's coming up going to hit mexico and i think they've got clouds there in mexico today and then it'll hit texas and i think it's going to be pretty cloudy overcast in texas as well then it's going to go on up to uh you know dallas texas right through the heart and on to Idabel, Oklahoma. That's the home of the Museum of the Red River, and they've got a big event there today. It'll go on to DeQueen, Arkansas, Murfreesboro, Arkansas, on up to Russellville, Arkansas, and just on up to Missouri. Then it'll go on to Illinois, kind of where, I think it's called the boot heel of Missouri is, uh, down there by Cape Girardeau, Carbondale, not too far from Paducah and and St. Louis. So between Paducah and St. Louis is Carbondale, Illinois. And that's a real good viewing spot. A uh, friend of mine, Sauber New, is there today. He was here a few days ago and he drove there because the skies were going to be better and he wasn't going to miss that. Um, so although there is an eclipse somewhere in the world every 18 months, when was their last an eclipse in Arkansas in 1918. That's been a long time. I wasn't around for that one, but I was around for another eclipse. This is going to be my second one. If you see my shirt, my sister got me this for my birthday. So I was up in the greater Kansas City area with her, uh, Independence and Liberty, Missouri, um, 
August 21st, 2017, and we experienced the solar eclipse during the day there. And uh, we were in, excuse me, I'm sweating. It is hot out here today, which is great. That's better than being rainy. Um, so we were standing in a neighborhood and it got light at about this, I mean, it got dark about this time of day and everybody, all the street lights came on and the porch lights came on and it was eerie. It was really weird to have that happen during the day. So I'm looking forward to seeing what happens here. Now, let me show you the sky and then we'll set back up around and I'll tell you some more about eclipses. So this is what everybody wanted to know. What will the sky be like on eclipse day at the crater of Diamond State Park? April 8th, 2024. It looks pretty clear. That's pretty good. However, for the actual eclipse, that's less than 45 minutes from now, we are not going to be here at this site because there are trees all around. I'm going to spin a panoramic view here and show you. This is why I'm not going to experience the eclipse at the Crater of Diamonds entrance sign along Highway 301. It's trees all around. My wife Cindy and I are going to go up to the Worthington Diamond Mine, which is about a half mile from here, and it's cleared off and we it'll be quiet. There won't be any cars going by and uh, we'll be able to, to see the eclipse real well from there. And I've got some neat things set up. So you'll want to watch that video too. It'll be different from this one. It'll be when we're actually experiencing the eclipse. Um, so first off, let's talk about what is an eclipse. So the earth is circling the sun and the moon is circling the earth. Every now and then those three spheres, and yes, they are all round, even the earth is not flat. I, I know, they're all three round. When those three spheres line up, every 18 months or so, the moon will get in between the sun and the earth and cast a shadow, just like I'm casting a shadow right now because I'm between the sun and that pavement. So when the moon gets between the sun and the earth, it's an eclipse and it's casting the shadow on the earth. This time, the shadow is going to start in Mexico, go across Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, all, all the way up oh, to uh, even Vermont and uh, I, I think catch part of Maine and then go on to Canada and then off out into the Pacific. So it's going all the way from the Atlantic to the Pacific. And you think, well, how long will that take? Not very long. That shadow is moving. And you think, well, how fast is it moving? Down right now at Ecuador, it's moving at about 1,100 miles an hour. But because of the spherical shape and the way it's hitting the earth and everything, the shadow will actually pick up speed. And in Arkansas, it will be going between 1,500 and 1,600 miles an hour. So that shadow is gonna make a swath just all the way across Arkansas from the southwest down here where we're at to the northeast just a diagonal sash uh, slashing across Arkansas leaving a shadow right now a cloud is leaving a shadow that is not the eclipse uh, but it may start cooling down some as we lose some of that sunlight that's heating the earth and I wouldn't mind it cooling down just a little bit but, so it's moving 1500 miles an hour and it doesn't take long to cross our state and you think well Arkansas is not really a small state no it's not like crossing the Delaware <laughs> or uh, crossing um, New Jersey you know the little states like Connecticut and uh, all that uh, that reminds me if you could stand a dad joke uh, what did Delaware a uh, New Jersey <laughs> my dad liked it we never laughed except to just humor him anyway I might throw another dad joke at you here in a minute if you stick with me, but until then, I won't torture you, you anymore and we'll uh, talk more about the eclipse that we're going to experience real soon here. So, 
we will experience about four minutes of totality in the center of the path of of the shadow of the moon. Um, De Queen, Arkansas will be in the center and have four minutes of total darkness. Here at Murfreesboro at the Crater of Diamond State Park, about three and a half minutes. If you go on near Arkadelphia, over near where we live, two minutes and 10 seconds of totality. It's because you're there at the edge. You know, if you've got something around passing through, it's not gonna be shadowed as long. Um, the temperature may drop about five to seven degrees, we'll see. Uh, the diamond ring effect only lasts for a second. So right at totality, when the moon completely blocks the sun, you can see kind of a, a gold ring around the side and then there'll be a little spark of diamond at one side. And so that's what we're all about here is diamond. So there's a diamond ring effect with the eclipse but it, it goes really quick. Maybe, hopefully, we'll catch it on video and you can see it on this next video, see the diamond ring effect. Um, you, you need to wear these special eclipse glasses when looking at the sun, anytime you look at the sun, except during totality, during those three and a half minutes, you can take them off, actually. So we're gonna try that with the camera. I'm gonna have the camera looking through this lens for a while and then when it's totality maybe you can look straight at it I don't really want to fry my camera but to... so during totality and it's dark you will be able to see some stars and planets planets do not twinkle like a star the planets are a constant light what are some of the planets you may be able to see uh, most likely you will see Venus and that is pretty close to the Sun and Moon because Sun and Moon will be lined up so you probably be able to see Venus today and uh, Jupiter is a big one and you should be able to see it it's a little farther from the Sun now right by Jupiter is Uranus and I'm not even gonna look for Uranus uh, I don't really care to see it um, Mars is right over there by Saturn and you may be able to see Mars, probably not, and uh, Saturn and Neptune, but most likely we will see Venus and Jupiter. Uh, so we'll, I've got a little map here and maybe I can point them out to you when, uh, when we get to see them. So to be able to see planets and stars during the day, that's pretty cool. Um, one thing that's interesting, I learned, Nathan Scott, a uh, meteorologist uh, in Little Rock, shared a lot of this information. I got it from him, I'm plagiarizing, uh, because I don't know that much about eclipses. But ask me about diamonds in Arkansas and I might be able to answer. Anyway, he said a lot of colors go gray, and so it'll be interesting what, what color clothes you wear for the eclipse. Well, uh, I'm gonna wear this shirt because this is the shirt for today. <laughs> I got it special for my birthday. And uh, so some colors go gray and I wanted to see the effect of different colors. So I got a bunch of my different shirts up there, uh, orange and blue and red and all kinds of different colors of green. And we'll see what effect the eclipse has on the colors of the shirts. We'll look at them before the eclipse and during the eclipse. So, That'll be kind of a neat experiment. So, uh, the corona of the sun is amazing during total eclipse, and uh, you may even see a solar flare. So, if you're looking at it and all of a sudden, psh, then the sun burped and we we got a solar flare coming out of the side. So, anyhow, uh, it's all coming up real soon. Uh, get your glasses and uh, join me. We will make another uh, video here shortly.